Hello guys, Omni here. Last video from E3 that I wanted to talk about today. And this is for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. You know, when they first announced this as Project Z not that long ago, I was really curious about how they were going to do like an action RPG based Dragon Ball Z game. Mostly a lot of these games are typically fighting games. Either 3D fighting games or 2D fighting games or a mix and match of the two. There's been a couple of action RPGs. You had something like Sagas back on GameCube, which was a thing, and that was okay. You had the just straight-up RPGs, which were on handheld. Um, and they were they were definitely different. <laughs> but typically, you when you think Dragon Ball Z, you think the fighting, you think the combat, and you, you, you know. So when this is supposed to be like an open-world kind of RPG, uh, type element like i'm really curious about it. the last trailer really only just showed us a couple of cinematics and then goku walking through different locations that you can visit and i'm just beyond curious how this is going to be implemented and how this is going to go but we got a new trailer for it from this e3 and let's go ahead and check it out and see if we can decipher what exactly is going to be going on in this trailer here we go gang This game brings the Dragon Ball universe to life, and I'm sure fans will truly be able to take a deep dive into the world and hope you enjoy the world. Akira Toriyama. Visually, it's stunning. Is this just like a... a Huh. 3D environment. Large environments. I wonder how far this is going to go. It's the journey of Kakarot, which I can kind of gather from the name. Is there even going to be a multiplayer element to this? That's still one of the best moments in anime history right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? It's just a small all glimpse there. It, I mean, it reminds me of Budokai Tenkaichi a little bit, but... I don't... I'm really... I, ooh, I want more gameplay. I want to... Early 2020, PC and consoles. Man, I really want to know how the gameplay functions. I mean, it looks mostly like Tenkaichi, like that series or the um, more recent fighting games. Not Fighter Z, obviously, or Fighters, sorry. Um, I, I don't know. I'm really curious how this is going to play out. Like I said, they, this is an action RPG. Is there going to be a multiplayer element? Because that's always been a fundamental part of Dragon Ball Z games, mostly, is the fighting. Being able to hook up and fight with your friends. And I'm wondering if this has an element of that in this. It reminds me, like, visually and from the little bit we see of the trailer, as far as, like, some of the combat sequences go, it gives me some vibes, kind of like CyberConnect 2's uh, Naruto games in a way, but it still has that distinctive kind of uh, free-floating, you know, three-dimensional zip-and-zoom kind of action that you have with, you know, these characters that just fly around, teleport, and, you know, the action can be anywhere. We get instances of all of that in it, but to what degree, it still doesn't... I, I, like I said, we got the Uzaru fight with Vegeta as well. So there's like the Matt, little Goku versus giant object kind of thing. And it was a much bigger scale than we've had in the prior games, even in the Takaichi games, uh, generally. And the majority of them, I think uh, that was kind of a remedied in one of the more recent ones, like the Raging Blast or one of those uh, where it was actually to scale. But... Generally, they even had the Ozaru's aren't nearly as big as they're supposed to be. This looked like there was a sizable difference between Vegeta and Goku in that fight. So I'm really interested to see how that plays out. Like, how do you counteract that? Is there going to be like kind of a like a, a flight mechanic where you can free fly around um, and then lock onto your target? 
How's the key going to work? How are the energy blasts, the Kamehameha is going to work? How is that all going to function? Ah, I want to know that. I hope that is the next thing we get is like a kind of like more gameplay, a breakdown of how it works. Aside from that, visually, it looks amazing. And again, I want to know what kind of scope this is going to be covering. If it's just the journey of Kakarot, aka Goku, is this going to start a Dragon Ball? Is this going to start a Dragon Ball Z? I mean, it says Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, so is this just going to start at the beginning of the Saiyan Saga where Raditz shows up to, to, to win? Is it just going to stop at Frieza? I want to know all of these things. How far is this going to go? How much of Goku's story is this going to be? Are you going to be able to play as anybody other than Goku? Because I would assume because of the title, you won't. Uh, that'll be a primary story-based, narrative-driven game. For anybody that already knows the story, like I feel like it's just another game that's going to retread that, but with a different spin, a different angle. And I would really like to get like an immersive Dragon Ball experience, going deep into that world, getting immersed in the world of Dragon Ball, and then going through that and doing these epic fights, these uh, storylines that have stood the test of time that really still like hold up and a lot of people really care about. Obviously, these characters have a strong, huge impact on people today because this is something that just keeps coming back people still buy into it still go into it still love it and i i i'm going to be one of those people this is something i haven't bought a dragon ball z game in a while i got dragon ball as uh, i got dragon ball fighters enjoyed that uh but as far as the rest of the game surrounding it it just kind of like felt like more of the same uh but this really has me interested and hyped up for just to see this kind of more grounded RPG kind of approach to the storytelling of the series and how they can develop that into a much larger game. I don't really know what else to talk about as far as this goes. Visually, this game looks stunning for an anime title. I I always for anime games, I really like that uh Ultimate Ninja uh kind of cell shaded blend so it looks like the anime is coming to life right off the screen and you're controlling the anime. That's what I like. That I think that visual style fits this kind of medium really well when trying to translate those types of uh, shows and uh, stories into like a more visual medium like with uh, these games and whatnot. I think it just fits this visual style and helps bring the anime to life. That's what I'm trying to get at in a long-winded kind of way. So I apologize for that. But anyway, guys... Let me know what you guys think about this. What did you guys think about the trailer? What do you expect from this? What do you want from this? Leave all that down in the comments below. We'll carry on this conversation after the video. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, support the channel, hit that like button for me. If you dislike the video, let me know down in the comments as well what you didn't like. And that's it for today. That is the last thing from E3 that caught my eye, that had my attention and interest. If there's something I didn't cover today that you all um, have an interest in or would want me to cover, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, we still got two more days of E3, so hopefully there's a lot more that we can talk about here in the coming days. Looking forward to for see, seeing what we get from Ubisoft. Looking forward to seeing what we get from Square. And then Nintendo on Tuesday. Hopefully we get some good news, some things to cover here in the coming days. But thank you guys for bearing with me, and I will catch you guys in the next video. You all take care.